The story of Cain and Abel is a story for all time. It is one of the earliest tales of humanity, filled with lessons that resonate through the ages. It is a story about family, a family that faced trials and tribulations, joys and sorrows, just like families do today. It is a story about failure, the kind of failure that can break a person, but also the kind that can teach valuable lessons. It is a story about forgiveness, the kind of forgiveness that is hard to give, but essential for healing and moving forward. Adam and Eve had two sons. Cain was the firstborn, Abel was the younger. Cain worked the soil. He was a farmer, Abel tended sheep. He was a shepherd, they were brothers, they were different. Their differences were not just in their work, but in their hearts and minds. The brothers lived a simple life. They worked hard. Their days were filled with toil and labor, each contributing to the family's well-being in their own way. They cared for the land and they worshiped God. Their faith was a central part of their lives, guiding their actions and decisions. They brought offerings to God. These offerings were a symbol of their devotion and gratitude, a way to seek favor and show reverence. They wanted to honor him. In their own ways, they sought to connect with the divine to find meaning and purpose in their lives. Cain, the farmer, brought an offering from his crops. He gathered the fruits of his labor, the produce he had worked so hard to cultivate. He brought the fruit of the ground, the harvest he had nurtured and grown. It was a representation of his efforts and toil. Abel, the shepherd, brought an offering from his flock. He carefully chose from among his sheep, selecting with great care. He brought the firstborn of his sheep, the very best he had. Abel chose the finest lamb, the one that was without blemish. He gave God his very best, offering it with a heart full of devotion and reverence. Abel's offering was a true sacrifice. God looked with favor on Abel's offering. The divine light shone brightly upon it, signifying his approval. God was pleased with Abel's heart, for it was pure and sincere. Abel's devotion was evident in his offering. However, God did not look with favor on Cain's offering. It lacked the same sincerity and devotion. God saw that Cain's heart was not right. Cain was filled with frustration and anger. His face fell, showing his disappointment. He was consumed with jealousy, unable to understand why his offering was not accepted. He directed his anger towards his brother Abel, feeling a deep sense of resentment and conflict. The tension between the two brothers grew. God saw Cain's anger. God spoke to Cain. God warned Cain about his anger. God told Cain to master his sin. Cain did not listen. Cain let his anger grow. Cain plotted against his brother. Cain invited Abel into a field. They were alone. Cain attacked Abel. Cain killed Abel. The first murder had been committed. Sin had taken its toll. Jealousy's grip, God asked Cain, where is your brother? Cain lied. Cain said, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? But God knew, God saw what Cain had done. God punished Cain, God sent Cain away. Cain was cursed. Cain would be a wanderer. The story of Cain and Abel is tragic. It shows the danger of jealousy. Jealousy leads to anger. Anger leads to sin. Sin leads to death. Lessons from tragedy. The story of Cain and Abel has much to teach us. We learn about the power of sin. Sin destroys, sin separates, sin brings pain. We learn about the importance of forgiveness. We must forgive others. We must forgive ourselves. Forgiveness brings healing. We learn about the need for brotherly love. We are called to love one another. We are called to be our brother's keeper. Love builds up, love protects. Echoes through time. The past is not just a distant memory. It reverberates through our present, shaping our lives and our world. The story of Cain and Abel, one of the oldest tales known to humanity, is still relevant today. It speaks to the core of human nature and the struggles we face. We see jealousy and anger all around us, just as Cain felt towards Abel. These emotions can consume us if we let them. We see violence and hatred, echoes of Cain's actions, manifesting in conflicts and wars that tear communities apart. We see the consequences of sin, the destruction and suffering that follow when we give in to our darker impulses. But amidst the darkness, we also see love and forgiveness. These are the lights that guide us through the shadows. We see people helping one another, sharing their resources and their strength, building a sense of community and belonging. We see people overcoming challenges, rising above their circumstances with hope and determination. 
This resilience is a testament to the human spirit. The story of Cain and Abel reminds us to choose love, choose forgiveness. These choices define our humanity and our future. Choose to be your brother's keeper. In doing so, we create a world where compassion and empathy prevail. Let us make the world a better place, one act of kindness at a time. Our actions today will echo through time. Let us honor God with our lives, living in a way that reflects his love and grace. Together, we can create a legacy of hope and peace.